and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with us now and forever in Jesus' mighty name. And also in our prayers, let us continue to pray for South Africa because there are also political processes that are going on in South Africa. I, I realize that, uh, I mean, to, towards December, up to, I mean, around next year, the, the nation may have a lot of divisions than the divisions which they are currently having. The Spirit of God is saying we must pray for oneness of purpose within South Africa. Yes, I, we must pray against violence. Violence within even the ruling party. Violence within even the ruling party. I'm talking about ANC in South Africa. Let us pray for South Africa. Look at your neighbor and say, pray for South Africa. Say, pray for South Africa. Say, pray for South Africa. Say, pray against the violence. Yes. I still keep seeing a, a certain leader. I will not mention this leader being humiliated in, in South Africa. Then. A leader being humiliated. You know to be humiliated? Yes. I still keep seeing a leader being humiliated. And it can offend a lot of people if this leader is to be humiliated. Sometime next year it may come to pass. So we must watch and pray. Yes, I see a leader being humiliated sometime next year. So, but God can work out a plan so that these people, they settle their differences amicably without humiliating those who are currently in authority, says the Spirit of God. Let us watch and pray.